Are you looking for the best beach umbrella anchor so this doesn't happen to you? Yeah, unless you're training for a triathlon, chasing an out of control beach umbrella down the beach is stressful and it's not much fun. Now I gotta tell you that I am very excited about this video. I have spent hundreds of dollars buying different kinds of beach umbrella anchors and I've spent the past year using them over and over again. So yeah, I'm pretty much broke, but now I get to show you my top four personal favorite beach umbrella anchors right now in this review video. Now if you're interested in any of these products in this video, I'll have links with more information down below in the description. Now let's kick this video off with number four, the metal stake. No, it's not a weapon, but it is a dependable beach umbrella sand anchor. This heavy metal bad boy is 24 inches long and can hold an umbrella pole that's up to an inch and a half in diameter. I've used this beach umbrella anchor on several beaches with different sand densities, and it usually worked perfectly every time. Sometimes I could just push it in all the way with my foot, and there's been times I needed this rubber mallet to finish the job. Now look at what happened when I used it on a beach with hard packed sand on a crazy windy day. The metal stake totally did its job and didn't budge at all. Unfortunately, the beach umbrella pole couldn't quite hold up. The thumb screw definitely does a great job keeping the beach umbrella pole from flying away, but it does leave an impression if it gets screwed in too tightly. Now the metal stake weighs over three pounds, so I'm not gonna bring it if I plan on walking very far down the beach. As far as price goes, I paid $50 for this beach umbrella anchor, which isn't exactly what I would consider to be cheap. Now if you're looking for something that's less expensive and totally different, there's this guy right here, the Digit Beach Umbrella Sand Anchor. The Digit made it to number three on my list because of how unique it is and how well it works. Basically, it opens up like an old school military shovel. Once I secure it in the shovel position and find a perfect spot on the beach, it's time to get to work. Now once I dig a hole that's 12 inches deep, I secure the Digit in this 90 degree anchor position and then I lower it straight down in the hole. If the sand line is more or less even with the top of the beach, I fill in the hole with sand. The post opening is about an inch and a quarter in diameter, so it can accommodate most umbrella poles, but not all. Now I pulled, I tugged, and I did whatever I'm doing here, and I could not pull the digit out of the sand. It can be easily removed, however, by first rotating the exposed handle counterclockwise until it stops, and then slowly pulling it straight up out of the sand with two hands. The digit is about 17 inches long when it's all folded up and weighs around two pounds. It's made with corrosion resistant steel, and after owning it for about 10 months now, I haven't seen any signs of rust. Overall, I totally dig it. My number two personal favorite beach umbrella anchor is provided with the Beach Bub all-in-one beach umbrella system. It's really ideal for someone looking for both a sand anchor and a wind-resistant beach umbrella. When the base is all folded up, it's only the size of my iPad and is completely useless. But when it's attached to the umbrella pole and completely filled with sand, it's a heavy 120-pound beach umbrella anchor. Once it's all set up, this beach umbrella is not going anywhere. Now I produced a detailed review video showing my personal experience setting up and taking down the beach bub on a windy day. I'm gonna link it up to this video so you can check it out if you're interested. Now last spring, I paid about 140 bucks for the entire beach bub all-in-one beach umbrella system, which I thought was a bit pricey at the time. But once I put it to the test and had a chance to see it in action, I was definitely sold. Hey, don't fly away yet. I still have to show you my number one beach umbrella anchor. And here it is, my all-time favorite, the one, the only, the Beecher. Sure, it has a funny name, but it's just 14 and a half inches long and only weighs 10 ounces. So it's extremely lightweight and portable. And it's made with sturdy ABS plastic. So it's tough as all heck. Setting up the Beecher is easy. Just press it down on the beach like this and turn the handles clockwise. Now as I do this, I want to make sure the beacher is pointing straight up. When I can't turn the handle anymore, I'm done. Now one day I used the beacher on soft sand, hard pack sand, and even wet mucky mud sand, and it worked great every time. I did give myself these blisters though, so take breaks when you need to. 
The insert diameter is an inch and a half, and the screw is long enough so it can accommodate most beach umbrella poles. Now I've used other beach umbrella sand augers with three tier screw designs, like the Beecher, and I've used a few with five tier screw designs. Based on my personal experience, the Beecher would always come up on top. Oh yeah, I never had a problem removing the Beecher from the sand, and I gotta tell you, the Beecher is really easy to clean. Now, I only paid 15 bucks for the Beecher, so it's really a great value, and it's definitely my personal favorite. Now, if you buy any of these Beach Umbrella anchors, please share your thoughts with me in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my Beach Gear Guy channel. I want to thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.